hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET Core MVC without using entity framework how to bind data dynamically into a select option element which is a drop down list control and here we got the final output notice the headed axe binding data dynamically into drop down list from SQL Server database without using entity framework in ASP.NET Core MVC application below that we have that drop down list select option element let's expand this so notice the India, USA and Australia as bounded dynamically from the country table if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before writing the coding part in ASP.NET Core First, we'll check the table in SQL Server Management Studio. The table name is the country which contains two columns, CID and CNAME. The CID column is an auto generated column, and the CNAME column contains the country names. Right now, this table contains only three countries India, US, and Australia. Now, my aim is I want to bind this country name column into a select option element without using entity framework in. ASP.NET Core MVC application. So let's open Visual Studio. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new ASP.NET Core web application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the projects, I'm selecting ASP.NET Core web application. Click Next. Let's give the project name binding data drop down list core mvc is my project name and i want to save this project in that d drive project folder click create now we'll select the template i'm selecting web application model view control and the ASP.NET Core, the version I'm using 3.0. After that, click Create. And the project is created successfully. Let's close this default window. Now open Solution Explorer. First, in this project, I'm creating a class in this models folder. Right click the models folder, add class. And the class name is country class. And here we got our country class country. Now in this country class, I'm just defining the public properties. Let's add the property prop double tab. I'm creating the property for the country names. So country name is a string type and I'm adding C name. I want to bind the data, the C name column into a drop down list. So I'm adding the property for the C name. Open solution explorer. Now let's add a new controller in this controllers folder. Right click the controllers. Add controller I'm selecting MVC controller empty add let's give the controller name is the controller name is country list is my controller name click add and here we got our controller now first in this controller I am adding the necessary namespace uh, using microsoft.data is the first package I require and the second package using microsoft.data.sql client after that I require the model folder also using I am adding the project name dot models folder after adding these three packages, now in the controller, 
public static list class in this list I'm adding my class name country and the method name get country this is a method name now in this get country method I'm adding the list class in this list the type of elements in the list we are getting from the country class so let's add the country again now create an object mm, country object is equals to new list country now after creating the object for the list class country and now uh, we require the data source of our connection string so for that I'm adding the variable string variable connection is equals to between double quotes we'll add our connection string data source so to get the data source open server explorer now in the server explorer there is a data connections right click the data connections add connection let's add our SQL server name after adding SQL server name now I'm selecting the database name the table I have created in the sample DB so I have selected sample DB test connection is succeeded ok ok and here we got the sample DB that DB is added to our data connections now we record the data source of this sample DB dot DBO right click the sample DB dot DBO go to properties in the properties there is a connection string which contains a data source just copy the data source and paste here let's add the semicolon and notice here we got a small error here just to fix that add another backward slash after that let's write the coding part um, using SQL connection is equals to SQL con is an object new SQL connection in this SQL connection I'm adding the object connection object then again using SQL command SQL com is an object new SQL command in this SQL command takes a string parameter which is a command text the command text is a SQL query select start from the table name the table name is a country let's copy this table name and paste here after that using SQL data adapter SDA is an object new SQL data adapter now in this SQL data adapter I'm adding SQL com dot connection is equals to we are getting the connection from this SQL connection object let's add the con semicolon then SQL con open let's open the connection string with the open method after open the connection string next SDA dot select command is equals to the select command we are getting from this SQL command object so let's add the SQL command then uh, SQL data reader SDR is equals to SQL com dot execute reader method I'm implementing while loop to read the data so here while um, SDR dot read method now in this while loop first I'm creating an object for this class country so let's add this country class see where you object new country object new country class now let's add see where you 
object dot notice here we got the property c name let's add the c name is equals to sdr when we double quotes the uh, object i'm adding the column name c name copy this one and paste here dot to string method So now I'm adding this country object into this list country object. See so you country object dot add method. In this add method, I'm adding C O U object. After that, the last step, the return. The return I am adding the country object. Now the final step, we need to add this country method into this index view method. The return view get country method. That's it. We have written the coding part. Now we require the view page of this action result index method. So before adding the view page for this project, let's build the application first. Build, build solution. And the project is built successfully. Let's close this output message box. Highlight the I action result index method. Right click the mouse. Add view. The view name is index. The template. I'm selecting the template. Is a list template, and the model class. Our model class is a country class. So let's set the country class. Then click add. And here we got our index view page with the list template. Now first in this list template, I want to change the heading of this view page instead of index and adding binding data dynamically from database dynamically into drop down list which is a select option from database then the next heading i'm adding h4 tag ASP.NET Core MVC without using Entity Framework. After headings, I am adding the horizontal line. Now below the horizontal line, notice there is a action link create new which I don't require. Delete this one, and also I don't require the table also. I'm deleting the table in the table headers. Let's delete this tr and td, and this td also up to tr. And below that, the t body and that table tags I'm deleting. Now, after the horizontal line, I'm adding the select tags. In this select tags, I'm adding the options. The first option is a default label for the drop down element so selected disabled select country name is the default label for the drop down list then i'm closing the select tag below the curly braces now let's add Another option inside the for each loop option, and I'm closing this option after the HTML helper tags. That's it. We have done the complete coding part. Now, before run this example, the most important we must change the controller name in our application. To change the controller name, open Solution Explorer. Notice the project at the bottom. There is a startup.cs file. Open that one, and here the startup.cs file come to the bottom. 
and notice the pattern controller is equals to home which is a default controller name home and our controller name is country list controller this is our controller name just copy this one and add here in the controller in startup.cs file and the action is equals to index which is our view page only this is an index view page that's it now it's time to check the results on the browser browse with and I'm selecting the default browser Google Chrome set as default click browse and here we got the final output notice the headed acts burning data dynamical into drop down list from SQL Server Database without using Entity Framework in ASP.NET Core MVC application. Below that we have the drop down list select option element. Let's expand this. So notice the India, US and Australia as bounded dynamically from the country table. That's it.